No Man United fan will argue with you when you say that change is needed at our club. On the pitch, off the pitch, there's not one area of United right now that is perfect. Everywhere needs changes. But what change is needed and when is it needed? What I'm going to do in this video is run through both the short-term changes and the long-term changes that have to happen for United to head in the right direction. Now, before I do begin, I want to plug the forum that we've launched this week for you guys and for the people's person as well. I want to build it into one of the best United forums out there, but I need you there to make that happen. There'll be a link in the first comment on this video, so make sure you go over there, register and get involved. Please do. I'm really excited to see what we can make this forum. But let's talk about the changes needed at United. In the short term, I think there's a few things that can be done to improve United. And the first for me is abundantly obvious. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has to scrap the 4-2-3-1 formation that just is not working for Manchester United. In this formation, you need two powerful holding midfielders. United don't have that, but Tomane, for me, is the only player who's really capable of playing that role. And it also doesn't allow, or Solskjaer is not allowing, Pogba to play further up, which I'll speak about later on. But this formation is too pragmatic, it's too restrictive, and it doesn't help United in any way, shape or form. Fred, I thought he was going to have such an improved season, but let's be frank, he's been atrocious so far. Struggles with the simplest of passes. Pogba's been injured. Matic is Matic. And we sold Herrera, and Fellaini's not here either. We don't really have the squad to play 4-2-3-1. It almost seems like a formation which plays towards the weaknesses of the squad rather than a formation that plays towards the strengths. And that formation would definitely be the 4-3-3, which I think Solskjaer absolutely has to bring back. Remember, Cardiff, 5-1, only a few days after Solskjaer was in charge. And of course, it was the new manager bounce. But he played a 4-3-3 in that game. And the football allowed the freedom for everybody to express themselves and actually play some top-class football. We've come so far in the wrong direction from that game that it's painful. But a 4-3-3 is needed. Scott McTominay can sit in the holding midfield position. It would allow Popper to play further up the pitch. Obviously, the big weakness is that third central midfielder, whether that's going to be Fred or Matic or anybody. Herrera was crucial to that 4-3-3 working previously, which makes it all the more baffling for the fact that United didn't replace him. But this 4-2-3-1, Oli, is not working. It's a big problem for United at the moment, and we need to scrap it as soon as possible. Quickly, before I move on to my second point, if you haven't seen it, there was an interview early this week I did with Oliver Kay from The Athletic, where we discussed Ed Woodward and the Glazers in some real detail. I'm proud of the interview, and I'd like you to watch it. So make sure you follow the card in the corner. That'll take you to the video and watch that. And over on The Athletic, they have dropped a fantastic feature on Ed Woodward and everything about him. Really worth going and giving that a read. You can follow the link in the description. That will give you a 30-day free trial and you can give it a read. Genuinely would. It's a very, very good feature that offers a lot more insight into Woodward's role at the club and his real power. And also with that link, you will get 50% off The Athletic's annual subscription with United People's TV a world-class team of writers on there, as I said, with Oliver Kay, who I interviewed this week, Andy Mitten, who we're going to have an interview with very soon, and David Ornstein, and plenty more. It's ad-free, world-class team of writers. You really should go. But follow that link in the description to read that Ed Woodward feature. It's a great way to get started. But let's move on to the next short-term point I think United needs to change. As much as I want United to scrap the 4-2-3-1 and as much as I want to see that 4-3-3, it isn't about one individual formation. Solskjaer needs to bring back the tactical versatility that we did see on occasions last year. And the best occasion absolutely is the 1-0 win away at Spurs. Nobody expected United to line up with split strikers in a, in a sort of diamond formation and Pochettino did not see it coming. Spurs did not see it coming. We won 1-0 away in what was such a tactically astute away performance that nobody expected Solskjaer to be able to do. But it proves that Solskjaer can coach and drill his players to play a certain way against a certain team. And that's what United need. We're far too predictable in this 4-2-3-1. 
All you've got to do is sit deep, because you know we're gonna try and hit on the counter, and once we can't do that, we don't have the creative quality to break a low block down. We need that versatility. One formation will work against one team, but it might not work for another game, and the United need that flexibility and that versatility, and that, for me, is down to Solskjaer and his coaching staff to drill that into the players, because we're too comfortable in a crap formation right now. 4-2-3-1, everyone knows how United are gonna play. Now, having a formation like that is all good and well when you're playing well. But when you're not, things need to change. That 4-2-3-1 has to go, but we need to have the flexibility to switch formations for certain games. Because right now, it's too easy to play against United. That has to stop. Now, there are loads of probably individual changes that you could ask for, but there's one that we desperately need. And for me, that's playing Paul Pogba further up the pitch. For me, it's abundantly obvious that Paul Pogba as a deeper lying midfielder isn't working. Him receiving the ball on the edge of his own box takes away from his real qualities of finishing, of that finding that final pass. And we don't have that quality in the number 10 role, so to take Pogba away from it makes even less sense. But United have paid 80 million for Harry Maguire, have got Victor Lindelof. That's two ball-playing centre-backs. Task them with bringing the ball out from the back. Allow Pogba to receive the ball in the opposition's half and United might then be able to bring the ball out from the back with our defenders and have Pogba to link the midfield to the attack. We don't have anybody else who can play that number 10 role. Well, number 10 in the 4-2-3-1, but just a more advanced central midfielder. Pogba needs that. And that's what Pogba did right at the start when, we was, when he was in such banging form. Occasionally, he played in a two-man midfield and played with a bit more discipline, but on the whole, he played with freedom and really just played football how he wants to play. And with a player that good, you have to let him do it. And I understood Solskjaer's idea that playing him deeper might be able to bring more to our holding midfield in terms of the quality of playing it out from the back. But let Maguire and Lindelof do that. Let Pogba play further up. And I think as a short-term solution to our problems in midfield, that could solve quite a lot. Combine that with a 4-3-3 and United might be playing a completely different style of football all by making just a few tactical tweaks. But of course, it's not all about short-term changes. And there's a lot that United need to do in the long term as well. And the first one, bored of saying it, you know it as well. Where the fuck is the sporting director? We are so desperately in need of one that it's painful. The structure is terrible at United. And the thing that United have got to think about is who's coming after Solskjaer because whoever United's next manager is, without this sporting director leading the vision, that will probably get lost again. And any progress we have made under Solskjaer in terms of the culture of the club and everything that's going on behind the scenes will be lost with a new manager who comes in and implements his own regime without the director of football to lead that vision and make sure that it continues through managers. That's why it's so crucial. And another reason it's so crucial is, of course, because it will reposition Ed Woodward and take him further away from the football. That's a big part of why we need a director of football, because Ed Woodward is wrong for the role. He's incompetent for the role. We all know that. You know how I feel about Woodward. I've said it on so many occasions. But he's so not fit for purpose that it's just dragging United further into the mud. And the quicker we get him away from the footballing decisions at United, the more likely we are that we can start our recovery process because I don't think it can ever properly happen with Woodward in an autonomous, powerful role at United. And that's why the director of football is so crucial because not only it brings that man with a vision into the club, it takes power away from Woodward at the same time. Maybe that will never happen, but if that never happens, United will never win the title again. Simple as that. And the ultimate dream for me is the Glazers gone. United having new owners. That's the ultimate dream and the ultimate way to remove this handicap of the Glazers away from United and to set United up as a football club. Manchester United Football Club is not on the badge anymore and it's certainly not on the pitch anymore. United are a shadow of our former selves and because we don't have Fergie anymore, it doesn't work with the Glazers in charge. He glossed over the cracks so well. But now, the veil has slipped. Now, Everybody's really pointing fingers towards the Glazers back like we were 
back in 2005 when the Green and Gold movement opposed them actually buying the club in the first place. Without the Glazers gone, without Ed Woodward being repositioned, the long-term future of United looks bleak. There won't be Champions Leagues. There won't be Premier Leagues. Both of those need to happen in the long term for United to be successful again. Absolutely. And maybe a long-term change is the fact that we need a new manager. Now, I know quite a few of you already feel that is the question that will loom over United all season long. And if we are humiliated by Liverpool, then maybe those calls for Solskjaer to be sacked will grow even louder. I suspect that they will. But I think Solskjaer will be given, at least this season, to, to, to turn his fortunes around. Because we saw in those first three months that he's capable with this squad. And he needs to prove to us that it wasn't just a new manager bounce that he was riding the wave of. And that he is tactically capable of being a good coach and improving these players. That's what Solskjaer has to do from now on. And I hope that he's still the man. And maybe that's just blind pointless, foolish hope based on the fact that a legend is our manager. And maybe you're right, but I don't want to see Solskjaer sacked. I want to see Solskjaer lifting the Premier League with the United. Maybe that will never happen. But I've seen three good signings this summer. I've seen certain things that I like. I've seen a lot that I don't like. But Solskjaer now, it's down to you to make sure that United change. And we go in the right direction again, because it was great for a few months. Ever since then, it's been a downward spiral. And as the manager, it's down to you to save your own job. And I think Solskjaer knows that. I think it's abundantly obvious this season won't be a success. Not in terms of trophies and silverware. But in the short term, I think these small tactical changes might help us head in the right direction, more towards the direction we were heading in the first few months of Solskjaer's tenure as United manager. In the long term, everybody knows what we need. A new club structure, a new director of football, Ed Woodward repositioned, new owners ideally, and maybe in the long term, a new manager. But let me know what you think about what changes are needed both in the short term at United and in the long term. And as I said, make sure you follow the link in the description. Go and get a free 30-day trial with The Athletic and read that feature on Ed Woodward and make sure you follow my link in the comment to join the forum as well. But let me know what you think about these changes.